salesmen drive a hard bargain. Imagine how much harder a salesman can bang on the gridiron. Love it or hate it, the rules have changed. NIL and corporate involvement has taken the game in a whole nother direction. And one of those changes have allowed corporations to build their own college and compete in college athletics. What's this world coming to? Gas station employees already got to live out their dreams, and now car salesmen can too. The ACC is no longer the Atlantic Coast Conference, it is the Automobile Car Conference. These nine companies formed a coalition to see who sports the best group of car salesmen. Let me introduce you to the companies. Meet Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Toyota, Porsche, Chevy, Tesla, Nissan, and Ford. Our task is to build up Honda, the worst team on paper. But that's all about to change because we recruited Honda CEO Toshihiro Mibe to lead this team forward. That's right, I said the CEO, he scrapped all of his other business priorities and said this job is the number one priority with the goal of winning a dang national championship and sporting the best group of salesmen along the way. As you can imagine, getting his involvement instantly skyrocketed our prestige, gave us preseason rank number 10, which is crazy. Critics believe in a quick Honda turnaround because no other team's gotten their CEO involved before. So Insta money, Insta cha-ching, Insta credit card, whatever we need to do to get players out here. Honda CEO wasted no time and made his first splash play. You see right here, he paid out Ashton Genty a massive bag. Literally paid the Boise State Phenom close to $1 billion to have this generational running back run for Honda. In return, he has to pledge his career as a salesman after college instead of going to the NFL. As loyal as Ashton Genty is, and I love that about him at Boise State, a billion dollars is a billion dollars. I mean, you're not gonna even make that in your NFL career, so. I don't blame him. Not worried about Genty, but I am worried about guys like George Bargain, Sammy Sweet Talk, Xavier Pressure, and Maurice CRV. Are they the salesmen that can live up to their billing? Looking at the Auto Car Conference, only one of our salesmen represented. It's Montel Mundi. But yeah, plenty of work to go around. Sprinkling in some non-conference games, and then of course, a lot of auto battles late in the season. The journey for bragging rights starts right now. Conducting interviews, we met with 35 candidates, and we wound down our list to roughly 10 or so sales salesman that we think would fit the mold and that would succeed. Starting from the top, obviously the number one projected salesman in the nation, gotta come up here. Third best and one heck of a runner, 93 speed, platinum sidestep, definitely on my radar. Wang has shown a real inept ability here to close the deal and if there's any BS, he's all about sidestepping it, platinum sidestep. The real gems come in Dakota Purvis. We're behind Tesla, ahead of Porsche. We got a long battle ahead. Thankfully at the top for Matt Harris here, this dude's a dog, a gem, 95 throw power, 88 speed, 90 excel. He's almost NFL ready just out of high school. It's a good thing we got Cole Hawker. If he's your salesman, he's known for Hawk to win the deal, sweeten things up a bit. Will be a sweet addition to the offense. Dan Cush is all about getting that bread. Craig Younger is that young spunky salesman that the old folks feel threatened by. I'm telling you, the CEO's got a knack for talent because this three-star salesman, he's at the lower ranks, is actually a hidden gem in disguise. Just hasn't reached his full potential yet. Through the first three games, we're two and one. We dropped one to South Carolina, but then beat Navy in FCS Northwest. Leading us straight to here, a home stand against Chevy. Chevy's got some pretty cool options here. Away, collar rush, electric vehicle, but we'll keep things classy here in this first one. Hand off to Genty up the middle, cutting left, breaking a tackle, first down. Let's see what this young gun bargain has as he finds sweet talk for a big connection. I think the CEO understands it's going to take a couple of years to rebuild, but he wants to win now. So we'll give him the best we got. And right down the field we go. Let's see if we can get some blocks here in front of Genty up the hole. Absolute amazing snag here to bring Genty in Honda. Dude is certified without a doubt. On pace to have one of the best running back seasons a running back has ever had. If he can replicate a fraction of that success here in the game, we should be a winning ball club. Bargain's definitely going to be leaning heavily on him to show him the ropes. Another touchdown. Don't mess with Genty. Chevy found pay dirt, but nah, man, we're not going to let them score much more unless we make mistakes like that. Bargain real ill-advised behind him. Him, late throw. Definitely making things interesting here. Back to pass and denied. Big sack. Huge play right here. Second and 16. Matthews delivered the stick. Just got to deliver another one. Third and 12. 
Good night. Class is in session, sack by session. What a stand by the defense. Holding him to three is a win in my book. Sending Genty out to the right. Maybe that'll free someone up. Just looking to sustain a drive here in the second half. I see Genty breaking free, but I got hit. Chevy first and goal to QB draw. Someone make a play. Big hit now going to the ground. We tackle him third and goal. No pressure for these guys. It's just third and goal. Another handoff. Are you serious right now? They just bargained their way into the end zone. Chevy with a load of garbage. Come on, Honda. We have to go down this field and win the ball game. Not a great game from this quarterback. Already going to be top of my list to find a new one, especially in the recruiting class. Two years of eligibility for Genty, our billion dollar star. Might just need a heavy dose of him here in the fourth quarter. Let's keep handing it that way. Breaking free with the lane and a block. Good night genty the hustle from a safety there actually took us down which is wild won't stop us from pounding that rock give me a block all right maybe it will stop us from pounding the rock should have scored while we can seriously but hey sweet talk in there with the lead dialing up the intensity pressure rising Jaden butcher's got a lot on his plate choosing to hand off big third and seven here we go they're passing we're covering blanketed he just has a wide open lane to scramble bringing in the pressure it's a blitz and wow, okay, that was like an RPO or something. Butcher kept it, started to run, and then he decided to pass last second. Hurry up offense, second and inches, just looking for that conversion. What in the world? Butcher with his hurry up offense, man, he's getting quick strike after quick strike. Bringing in the blitz, Stevens. Oh no, missed tackle, 26, Chevy. Wow, okay, Chevrolet. All comes down to this, bargain, sees a receiver, break free, takes a shot, first play back on offense, is Whirly off to the races. Just took one play for Whirly to get squirrely, and now I'm going to Genty all day. The left looks weak, so I'm definitely running this rock to the left side. Great call. Back to the right this time, cutting it up. Extra effort, too. Dude, that extra effort got us all the way down to the one, making it. I thought an easy play. Everyone's thinking right side, so we're kicking it to the left. Get in there, baby. Do we live and die by the run? I think we come out and actually pass, which is what we're doing, and it didn't work. Chevy holds at the door, beating us. We probably should have took the game to OT, all things considered. Now I'm gonna regret my choices. Definitely gives me Marshawn Lynch vibes when I should have handed it off at the one. Instead, like Russell Wilson, passed, did not get it to go. <sighs> oh, well, hey, the show must go on. This is year one. We're building our way towards the championship. Little recruiting update a few weeks in here ethan lawrence bingo stan breeze in a handful of four-star gyms we love to see this from brian to craig the youngster cole hawk to a hawker and stefan spoon will spoon feed you all you need to know about your next honda purchase kush and our friend moses friend rounding out the four stars so far we've hit big on a lot of them couldn't hit with sean but we're still very much in the race for a handful of five stars i definitely want wang i absolutely love wang i'm just gonna call this the ceo effect i'm excited to see some of these dudes make up their decision. Tesla out here making moves as well. They got the Dante Briscoe experiment. Definitely not going to touch any salesmen that are bust. I know we're in the lead, but I might leave that to Porsche. Hey, I'm just glad we're landing who we are landing right now because we're losing a lot of games. We barely lose to Toyota and Nissan, and now we have to go on the road to take a ranked BMW. As you can imagine, two and four is creating some problems. We're getting locked out from really good prospects that care about championship contention. Just found Keelon Freeman the other week, but he also locked us out. On the bright side, it's official. We got Wang, Jem Purvis, Warfield, Jem Harris. That's right, landing four five stars and on the brink of getting two more. While getting locked out stings, I turn my attention to another batch of five four stars. In the sales industry, it's cutthroat. Bargain just wasn't cut out for it. Genty averaging about nine yards per carry, similar to his real life production. It's actually funny that in real life, his production is better than a video game. But yeah, he He's well worth the price tag. Gotta hook him up with the newest and improved customized Honda Civic 2025. The perks of corporate universities, there's a lot of money and a lot of incentive for players to play big. Can't really say that about anyone on defense so far. Maybe freshman Maurice CRV will continue to blossom in a second half campaign. Turning our attention to BMW. Impressive campaign for Kitchings and the bunch. He's scrambling out to his right, making the play. How did he get so open? Breaking free to the two. There are so many holes needing addressed defense offense i do like bmw's uniforms though they look pretty crispy and they're gonna walk that thing in and they're showing us why they're number 17 in the nation Patton is the quarterback spelling in for bargain and he doesn't look much better in fact he's literally been able to do nothing this entire game don't even know how he is hot right now it doesn't make sense actually i do know it's the ceo's ability i hope that comes in handy because we need some luck on our side 
skill just ain't there. BMW is going to close the deal. How bad do we want this sale? How bad do we want to sell that used car? Genty in motion. I'll show you how bad coach right here. Sweet talk. Ah, I know the issue. It's getting away from our best salesman, our number one performer. If you do that, you're surely going to lose. End zone. Touch back interception last ditch effort it's already garbage time everyone knows we're not coming away with the win so might as well see who wants to stick around on the depth chart Patton was seven for 20. my guy actually has to go back to the bench i can't stand this production when we were taking up the worst auto team in the conference i didn't realize it'd be this bad the prestige from our ceo getting involved that definitely provides a jolt hopefully for the future but for the present it's dog shiz fourth and 27 just throw genty on a streak maybe Maybe he'll get open right bingo hit him but it's not enough a shutout in hostile territory bmw the superior company this time round one year one bmw closes juan thomas their star salesman fast forward a week even though we lost we got the number one player in the nation number seven terrell with six of them bad boys come in maybe a seventh i'm feeling good which is just wild for me to say two and five what a disappointment i was worried there would come a point this could happen they're flipping on me brian said nah this team's dog i'm going to ecu i think that's the only damage so far but i'm going to keep a close eye on it a few last signees on a rather disappointing season these guys want to turn it around nothing like bail to bail you out of a situation and this sticky situation we're in three and nine except one exquisite win 50 to 31 over wisconsin george bargain was working genty was a running everything was going our way this game just couldn't replicate the success in year one and i'm telling you bargain has to go i didn't like the patent experience either but thank goodness we have some of the best qbs in the nation coming in one more year of genty on 131 carries popped off at least quincy was noteworthy despite inconsistent quarterback play defense will still have some growing pains what a campaign from quincy glennon for heisman 23 touchdown catches more than a third of his catches went for six honda will get there just believe if you don't believe me the number one recruiting class in the nation speaks for itself in the automobile car conference it was actually Actually pretty tough across the board tesla with the 11th best class ford bringing in some stangs porsche making moves and then it drops off steeply sorry toyota nissan bmw chevy and mercedes-benz mercedes-benz i don't know what they were doing one four star three three stars that is just not gonna cut it despite toyota's terrible class and the seventh best team in the nation they got into the playoffs lost to miami ford had a first round by dropped it big time to nebraska and one thing's led to another k-state nebraska finale which nebraska completely Completes. As a team, we had the third best offense, which surprises me when we had like the third worst passing offense. It's all because of the run game and Toyota knew very well how to pound it as well, 2,000 yards. All things considered, defense was pretty good too, until you look at production in terms of sacks, fumbles, and interceptions, the worst across these three key areas. Once again, indicative by the minus 21 turnover differential. A lot of damage here to sift through. We have five persuasion chances and I'm gonna use the first one on Genty. A high chance failed. So he's going to the NFL. My next shot has got to be on the speedster freshman success. This is tough. All these guys up top are low chances, but I say we just start taking our chances here. Whirly. Yes. Underrated play here. Redshirt freshman cone. Let's go. And then the last one, I'm going to pass on safety. I'm between the running back or the receiver. And since Genty's leaving, I might as well go with ETN. Nah. Taking a look at the portal, we really got two guys that our eyes are on. And since we need a quarterback badly, I'm definitely going to entertain the Virginia Tech. So all in all, a really good class, but three more guys I would like to keep an eye on. And we lost Troy to Tesla, who just came raging on. At least we got Joey Story converted Virginia Tech quarterback to newest Honda salesman. Year two, all about retooling and rehauling our sales team. And trust me, they feel leaner and meaner than ever. Let me just kick it off with three studly true fresh. Number one candidate right now, Matt Harris. This elite salesman had a 64% closing rate on any used vehicle. I don't think y'all know how absurd that is. Terrell Winton is right on his tail. He does have the leg up in cross-selling. Wang's got me bricked and his stats don't lie. He will sell you on things you don't need. Doug Hatchett looks like a star receiver in the making. He also is a star at his local Honda dealership. Really good at customer relations. The list goes on and on. I mean, we really have a certified group. The 
number one class in the nation is gonna have a lot of stars and starting freshmen like Terrence Coroma, Dakota Purvis, a hungry man, Dan Cush, elite, Craig Younger, also elite, right outside linebacker, 90 speed, Warfield, ready to go to war, and ask if you'd like to schedule your next three oil changes. Might have taken a step back in year one, but step two is gonna be a major leap. A peek at our schedule shows a tough road ahead. Year two recruiting, already hitting a few roadblocks that we didn't really see when we were doing this last season. For starters, we're getting a lot of lockouts just after one week, and I'm bummed we missed out on Gage DeVoe, 99 speed. And Eli Virgin may be what he is, but 96 throw power would have been great to have too. It's a rare day when I find this. Lawrence Gooden is another 99 speed gem prospect, so we're going all out for him since we missed out on the last. I noticed a lot of top-notch linebackers in this class, but Isefa Halepio is one in particular. 91 speed, 91 excel. He's a speedster. In other news, I want to see our true freshmen make their debut. First ever collegiate game. It's going to go up against Fresno State. And here we go. Harris at the helm. His first ever snap. Let's see what he can do. Just a dump down here to the running back. We'll take three. This elite freshman salesman is thinking about football as a full-time gig. I'm excited to see him at the helm. He's one of the best guys out of the class and he's got some room here to make some work happen. I expect a huge lift over bargain. So let's call that RPO, dump it back down to our running back, spinning in place. He really should have just ran. Third and 10. Let's see if we can keep the drive alive on the run. They're hitting Kruger. What a play. Certain quarterbacks just feel special. And I'm already getting that vibe from our main man. Just need to keep building the offense around him. In fact, we got Wang in here as mainly a decoy, but he is that top notch running back but for now, McIntyre looks pretty good too. I think on third and two, I'm actually gonna let Wang take the rock here. There he goes, first carry. Stopped in our track, so we're going for it fourth down. Whirly in stride, first and goal. You're witnessing greatness here from Harris in his first collegiate drive, scrambling, tucking and running for six touchdown. I love this already. I'm calling for a resurgent year two. The Ford Mustangs took bragging rights in year one. Will Honda get year two? Short answer, it's a decisive yes. Touchdown, two drives, two scores. Whirly in congestion there, riding off in his CRV. Absolutely gassed up to see this team succeed in college football things can change so fast it's not quite like the nfl where you sign a couple free agents here and there no you can bring in 25 more dudes not just 25 more dudes but the best 25 dudes we brought in the number one class and it's already transforming literally everything we do except when we still have blunders like that he's just gonna pick up missouri's fumble there oh the misery nut nut nothing on you harris they got nothing on harris there that was not his fault but this sack, oof, should have got rid of it. I think we just let one sail here, and yep, accurate ball to Whirly. He's off to the races, sideline game. Your eyes do not deceive you. This is 270 yards, three touchdown passes in the first half, and it could be much more here. Breaking a tackle, McIntyre to the house. Out at the one, half a yard to be exact is rather unfortunate, but it's cool. We'll just stay calm, deliver it to Sweet Talk, and yeah, this game's wraps. Fresno State getting spanked down by a car dealership couldn't be me. Low-key, it's kind of a win-win though. When you lose to Honda, the CEO makes it a point to send all the opponents a new Honda car. So the whip that they're driving, they can constantly be reminded by the team that spanked them into the middle of next week. All good vibes over here. The homestand, the defense, the showing from Honda, and look at all the fans in the stands. Matt Harris is the real deal. He's going to be an electric playmaker. Early signs of success. Yes, FCS Midwest, but our QB fed Larry Kruger, the senior, for 10 catches, 134 yards, and four touchdowns. That takes us into conference play after winning two, dropping one to the number one team. Early signs show a ton of auto companies here with ranked squads. Some mixed results, three and three, losing it to BMW, but knocking out Chevy just for Notre Dame to whoop us. I think we need to jump in on the road here and see if we can knock out Toyota. This is their Prius division. And you can tell Toyota is heavily inspired by doing things different out here. The colored turf directly a play out of Boise State's playbook. They're going to score first and do a little dance. I don't think Harris and the gang are cool with that. Let's play some ball here and make Honda proud. Scrambling out to our right. I think we're just going to take off. Harris down the sideline. Going to give Wang a carry here. It's blown up again. Trying to get Wang some room to run wild. Our quarterback's just trying to make a miracle happen at this point. 
off his back foot. Pressure came home over the middle. This place is rocking. I'm having a hard time concentrating. Harris just needs to deliver a ball here to the end zone. Fourth and goal. Worley silence the crowd my boy talk about coming through in the clutch harris is that guy and we're gonna be looking to him again over the middle great delivery interesting observation i throw less interceptions when i have an elite quarterback or is that just common sense when you have one of the best it's easier to do your job it means i got a dog here in harris and i'd like to let wang run it in but they, he can't hear me over the noise so i'll dump it out to him in the backfield sidestep platinum that was huge so we're gonna do this thing again fourth and goal i'm just gonna pound the stone with wang just see if he can stick his wang over the edge easy peasy give him the six we're on top before half we're pinned here against our own two but i see the slant open up it's whirly love when that dude just gets a little extra squirrely with it and he might get whirly squirrely again deep bomb to the house already got toy out here in a panic going for it on fourth down he's gonna dump it off and convert huge third down here just over the middle keeping it simple sweet talk put him to sleep some back and forth couple minutes to go we're up by five let's see if we can run out the clock and just hang on feeding it again wang up the gut bouncing around fight all right i'm just gonna toss it to wang i can't forget he's got platinum sidestep it didn't activate there literally the one time we needed it to activate more than ever fourth and two i'm risking it for the biscuit he's got a hole and he's got the first we marched into toyota territory and are gonna win it based off of like three fourth down conversions all in the clutch knocking off a ranked toyota group i am a fan of some toyota makes and models but for today i'm sticking with whirly i'm gonna sign up for that newest vehicle he's got my commission this huge win was a catalyst for some of the prospects getting them over the hump newcom one of them it's christmas with isaac christmas committing antonio lamar and angel nevis an athletic run stopper with 92 speed 94 excel could probably play any of the linebacking positions extraordinarily well i'm absolutely loving our quarterback but paul caser would be an insane backup 93 speed 93 power platinum off platform never bad to have more options we got three of them right now but a fourth or a utility dude always intriguing ford strong for dylan bohan and i'm gonna lose him here's to hoping i can get benji gay a very tight end changing up our approach on a few of them like matthew scales time to hard sell for the amount of rebuilds that i've done i feel like i have recruiting locked down to a science which hey could be a good indicator we might need to start mixing it up here in some rebuilds going forward so let me know if you have any fun recruiting challenges or any recruiting preferences that you personally use in your dynasties i'm happy to take some ideas and slap them into here i'm gonna employ my inner car salesman real quick and if you've made it to this far in the video why don't you go ahead and soak it up with king sponge and hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me hopefully that's not too pushy but just a friendly push saying hey i see you and it makes a difference nothing like winding out the season with a game against porsche of course they got some drippy uniform options here with chrome and different additions 992 but since we're meeting for the first time let's just keep the homes it's raining but harris ain't sweating it we're ready to win we're locking in we're six and five they're five and six we can be the bearer of bad news and prevent them from going to a bowl game strike to kruger don't want to jinx anything but i've had a great time playing with harris this year as he continues to deliver as indicative by the record though he's probably not blowing up the stat sheet but he's doing enough to see promise so far it's low scoring porsche has not done much to threaten our team at all the bright side is honda's on the ascent porsche is on the decline because porsche had a really really good season before coming into this year spreading the love between a few running backs now kruger i think we can cash in here if we just stay calm cool and collected third and goal scramble out to the right we got a potential option here but let's just walk it in you know what they say when it rains it pours and we're well on our way down this war path i got confidence to go for it on fourth and 12. it's what he's proven every single week so far and he's gonna do it again he did it all day long against toyota he's gonna do it again against porsche we're just coming in the clutch it's about to get electric here fourth down pressure get the stop yes let's go we did it once before we'll do it again fourth and five taking control of chubb here just keeping it in front make a play he caught it still baffled how that last one slipped through the cracks there but i'm not gonna let it happen again intercepted by honda c r v can he go all 
almost all the way. Honda CRV, baby. What a pick. Not on our watch. Why drive a Porsche when you can go Honda? It's already over. We can run this thing out, but I'm going to go for a dagger shot. Just taking a bomb to our man Kruger. Touchdown. It was electric for Honda, just like the newest offering of electric vehicles. Wait a minute. We really just got an ACC championship game. I'm actually shocked. I got to jump into the conference standings real quick. And yep, that is accurate five and three against five and three tesla however tesla is number four in the nation i highly doubt even if we win we'll make the bracket i just think we have too many losses like yeah looking around i just don't see anyone we would usurp we'll definitely jump in and see what we can do it's no surprise that elon musk has built himself a hot commodity in this tesla football team they are an innovative bunch that can play a good brand of football don't sleep on honda though this group is tried and true we're Worst case scenario, we can't get in, but we can still very much play spoiler. Fourth and one. Look at the drag. I think that's going to get open, and it does. Whirly. I said we take care of business, ask questions later. Like the Lucha here, the sophomore speedster to the house. He was thinking about transferring last year. I said, no, get your butt back here, and let's go win some games. I appreciate the way we're playing right now. Read option, and I don't appreciate how we couldn't stop that. Okay. The stealthy black unis, man. They look a little too one color to me. Clearly, fashion is not what they're thinking about 21 7 they're thinking about winning football games and uh yeah they're gonna go ahead and top us off with a great play by the db i knew we were counted out from the start we got some more growth and development to do tesla is gonna win and it's okay it's what I expected. In year two, I was just surprised to make it to the ACC championship game. Tip of the cap to Elon. They win year two in the automobile car conference. We finished second. So Honda coming from the basement up to number two. In recap, Harris was also victim of the interception bug a bit more than I thought. I just felt like every time I hopped in, he was a difference maker. So that genuinely surprises me. Spread the ball around a good amount. Two seniors at the top. Defense taking a slight step in the right direction. Still got more to be desired. A lean, mean recruiting class. Tesla gets eighth as a side note, but we're 13th for now on 13 players. Five more five stars coming in, though. That's what I'm talking about. Tesla didn't get far. They lost to Kansas State by one point. But your eyes are not deceiving you. Nebraska has gone back to back now. This is sad, man. We got so many good looking players wanting to leave. Guys, we just brought in. I even gave Hill a starting job, and he doesn't want to stay. Breeze, what about you, dude? All right, man. All right. Botching at every level last chance to get one guy oh for five what gives training results and year three up to an 89 overall across the board we are deep but nothing like elite craig younger making a switch from outside linebacker to middle linebacker and jumping up to 96 overall with training i didn't even notice but 99 zone coverage is amazing 88 man two plus 93 catching can i throw him at receiver i won't because he's got 90 speed 90 excel 91 tackle 91 pursuit literally your NFL prototype at pass coverage. It's giving Luke Keekley vibes. And then as you can tell, we got a handful of 90s, high 80s, quarterback room stepping up in a big way. I feel like Harris is a championship caliber quarterback and we haven't even seen what Winton can do, but he's that guy as well. Not to mention redshirt freshman Crow, another one. Didn't get the 99 speedster, but we got 75 AJ McKee, another elite tight end. We have so many good options here. Antonio Lamar, star center, La Michael Fries. His coworkers like Deshaun New come learned not to touch his fries gotta be the most loaded here at linebackers with isaac christmas an elite right outside linebacker filling in and oh yeah if that doesn't work out another elite outside linebacker right behind him angel nevis 81 overall corner james revis our fourth string free safety elite defense is just stacked for days like give us a year or two there's a lot of underclassmen they're gonna blossom i'm proud of the team we built the ceo has really instituted a cultural shift for the squad and there are so many more gems coming in this upcoming class like ben santana so i'm looking forward to yet again get past last year's win record and at least now we got a couple honorable mentions in the first team all acc i can't help but notice the overwhelming amount of tesla players on both lists no surprise they 
they predict Tesla to win it all, but Honda in second place is welcoming for year three. Defense finally on the come up, taking the step they need. Four sacks from Terrence Karoma in the win over Notre Dame. Good to see our former five-star getting in on the fun, but what's up with dropping this to Kentucky and Purdue? Time for a little auto sales off. Employee of the week type performance here against Chevy. Matt Harris closed out a major deal. And speaking of closing out major deals, Garrett Ramsey, the number one player in the nation, is just about a sure thing. And he would be a game changer, 96 speed, jammer, house call, legion, winning time, road dogge. It doesn't stop there. It looks like another running back, seventh best player in the nation, Jojo Burnett, 93 speed, 90 change of direction. He's an athlete, so he can do a lot of things. We're on the precipice of Ramsey, but we already landed gem five-star corner Ben Santana, who's arguably better. Hayden Gooch about to get his Gooch over here. Elon and Tesla still making some big plays. Another tight end for our bonded offense. Another quarterback, because why the heck not? Receivers, receivers, receivers can't get enough. Maybe another gem middle linebacker. Defensive end, defensive tackle. Yeah, you're seeing this right. For the most part, we're clearing our board the way we want to. Still got some things to iron out with this team. Three and three. Nissan's the perfect team to punish. Time to ball out in front of our home fans. Harris is going to drop back. He's going to sling that thing to Missouri. In year three, Missouri's become our best receiver. Need to keep feeding him the rock. But on this fourth and inches, Yancey will do just fine. One thing Matt Harris is confident in is having a reliable tight end. That room is absolutely stacked the best way to put it. With the fresh star under his name tag, he's dumped. But stars can do what stars do, right? Let's see if Sweet Talk or anyone's gonna be open for this reception. And now fourth and seven, looks like our best guy Missouri's gonna hold on and score six. We have a clutch and a knack for converting fourth down plays. Honda on top. On defense, I'm a huge believer of Younger. He is so fast, so nifty, extremely good at coverage. He's everywhere. Didn't have to do much on that last play, but that's beside the point. Missouri gets us five. Let's hand it off and let him run wild. It's McIntyre down the sideline. He's past all the defenders. He's going to outrun everyone. Touchdown. Genuinely, I'm actually confused why we're three and three. There are electric playmakers all across the board. Greg the leg with them quads and thighs up and down that field. Nissan refuses to go down right now. They're actually playing some scrappy football and they're gonna get through here first and goal. Not really sure what inspired Nissan to go with these colorful unis. The marker yellow boys are out here in fast tempo trying to get a lead. And they do. At the end of the day, it's hard to get past Harris in this offense. Maybe McIntyre can do what he did earlier. House call something. Looking to sweet talk his way to a first down just out of reach. If we can pick this up, that'll go a long way. Nope. Definitely going for it here on fourth down. Uh-oh. No one getting separation. But the defense came through. Because of that, we got new life. And we're just going to play action. And out to Yancey. If they held their blocks, he would have been gone. All good, though. McIntyre can get going here. Just one guy to beat. Stuttering just a little bit. But won't be stuttering for long when you have a wide open bail. Dropped it. And the game crashed because it was disgusted loading back up i can't believe it bail would have had touchdown in a two possession lead drops it stone hands and this game would have been interesting i cleared up my storage before this dynasty rebuild on my playstation it helped through the first three seasons as you can see but now i i guess it's not helping anymore so we'll try this game again but the sim is going to determine the victor because we got hosed out of something special i'm hoping honda can show me that all the hard work all the building year three can be a turn of events for the good over time i think they did it Honda is in there, 17-10, time to celebrate. Down goes Nissan, making big moves. Garrett Ramsey is in. Tony Caesar's next on my list, same with Gabe Office, but I'm a pretty darn happy camper with all of our commits this early in the season. Only thing to do next is beat Mercedes, eventually get through Tesla and make our way into the championship game. So shoot, why not a little back-to-back -back here? This is a much tougher opponent. Game don't fail me now, let's beat down Mercedes in the gray. Haven't really asked this all video, but Heck, I'm curious, what's your favorite brand of car? What kind of whip do you ride or want to ride? All important questions, as I think I got him. No Mercedes with a statement first play. They have not stopped play after play, wrecking it down our throats, going for the end zone, intercepted by Cano. Can he take this thing back before halftime? He's got some room, it's closing in midfieldish absolute electric turn of events here where we're getting shut out and he's flexing and kicking celebrating uh 
the interception. Three, two, one. Just had to get one snap off. Take a shot. Double coverage. It's cooked. Nothing happening. So we'll take this game into the second half. Pick up a first down. Put on a move. Get ready to score. Looks like Sweet Talk's unguarded right now. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to chuck one. Here we go. First and goal. If I can hit Sweet Talk again, I will. Doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. Definitely potential in this play. Let's just go to the slant. Bail. Time to be a superhero. Over the middle. Bail. Bails us out for six. We're in this thing. Mercedes Benz. Watch out. Harris, Mr. Steal, your customer. Can prove his case here. Stepping up. Breaking a tackle. First down. Flipping this game on its head. Scramble to the right. Sandwich. Youch. A Mercedes sandwich right there on that last one. Sweet talk gets us to the one. Could easily take our field goal, but what's the fun in that? Yancey to the outside. Out of reach. Well, this is it. Fourth quarter. We can go ahead and put a statement in the book if we can find anyone on our team willing to play some ball. Yancey, okay. We'll go right across the middle. That's great separation from sweet talk. Rumbling forward. Carry on your way word son sweet talk way to hang in there locking in here big third and one blocks held up decent and oh man good job little one-on-one -on -one out there we'll see what the safety does in his help spot yeah he got over there in time and we're dropped third and 20 just gonna need to step up make a big play breaking free coach really offered a 58 yard field goal nah man nah we're just not built like that we are built for this missouri our best receiver and look at that another fourth down conversion call me crazy i'm chewing clock and we're losing as long as we don't botch this thing i think we'll be okay breaking again with the chew just looking for simple check downs like that all right that was actually scary so qb draw here on third and one hoping it just holds that was terrible did you expect anything different from mr go for it on fourth down a conversion or not wow that's an anomaly we get six seconds i think i just cost us this game again as time expires man i really should have just took my three points oh Yucky. That hole was almost there. He was bursting through it. Someone yanked him in the back, drilled him from behind, and we couldn't go any further. As disappointing as that loss was, it's a rematch in the championship game. We fast forward a few weeks. We got business done. I mean, check it out. The results speak for themselves. We lose to Mercedes-Benz, beat UMass, beat Tesla by three. That's impressive. Slammed forward, took care of Porsche, and now it's Mercedes-Benz once again. Back again. This time the trophy will be ours. Let's see if the sim agrees with me. Strike one, Mercedes, but we answer back couple times before half there that's encouraging looks like we got the three touchdown cushion 14 points uh oh here comes mercedes but not in time they're in shock they're surrender cobring they did not know what just hit them revenge game served cold wow robert gamewell the salesman they turned to in their time of need the darkest hour went four for 14 he struck out and lost the sale looks like matt harris got hurt and i don't like to see that Thankfully, Terrell went in its next man up mentality in the sales room. Let's go. What a surprise. And that win in the ACC championship got us a bit into the playoffs already. A young Honda crew takes on number one Missouri 5v12 seed. And observing the playing field here, impressive stuff from East Carolina and Wyoming especially. Matt Harris started to cook. Also was more effective as a runner than Greg McIntyre. David Bale, despite a couple of egregious drops, I noticed, carried the load. Really good stuff from Terrence. Can't forget about Josh Moore. Craig Younger with five sacks of his own. Five interceptions from AJ Cano. I see the writing on the wall and why we are a playoff caliber team. Top three passing, top three rushing, fourth in points per game, top three in passing touchdowns, number two in rushing. When you hang in the top three for pretty much every category, that's a great sign. Even better here, second for total defense. Just hanging around the top three for a lot of categories, but number one in sacks. I need to see more sack attacks against Missouri. Oh, hey, look, our best receiver last name missouri we're going to missouri it's a blackout for the fans here and it's important for us to start off with an absolute bang and it looks like winton is in at the helm matt harris hurt and gone gosh who who knows how long i hope he gets better but this could be nick Foles esque just like what happened to carson Wentz and the eagles nick Foles spelled in in time for the playoffs and led them to a super bowl and super bowl mvp garbage deflection so missouri gets the first strike and we 
don't like that one bit. Pressing everyone in, we could get burned on a pass, but it's fourth and one, and it is a pass after all. Separation, number 12, just down the sideline here, good play. Third and six for the crew, it's a handoff. Can I just break free of that tackle? At least the other guy swarmed. Fourth and two, I call cover two, man. Man coverage is so easily cooked in college. Bro, this Missouri team is aggressive tonight. Third and 10 here, his receivers are standing pretty still. Younger wraps him up, great open field tackle. Out of timeouts, and instead of kicking, some 59 yard atrocious thing i'm just gonna throw a one-on-one -on -one ball to the back of the end zone looks like he has a quick step bail for six clock expires down 17 zero swimming our way back into this one you get a car you get a car all missouri fans want a honda talk about an absolute momentum shifter and especially if the defense here can get off the field he pitches it make a tackle why are you getting your ankles broken and whiffing tackles to the house 27 no time is of the essence the importance here for us scoring cannot be understated man second and two audibles did not go through apparently but hey we can play a little hezzy ball and score bouncing off our dude's back giving him a little hump and score third and four i think we're out of timeouts now and wow just steamrolls ahead and you can put two and two together they ran out of timeout or we ran out of timeouts the clock ran out of time they got that first. Don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that's ball game. Missouri had a good run after it, after running through us and our Honda employees. But Oregon, too much here and winning it all in the national championship against their Washington rival. That's a little Pacific Northwest battle. Check out Sweet Talk here. He had a real knack for the football and he's going to be Sweet Talking his way into the big leagues. We usually don't get many options, but this time I got two right tackles and a right end that are four stars a previous Toyota right tackle wants to free himself from their reign and come sell for us. I enjoy this man's name, Teddy Awesome. That's pretty cool. Will make for an awesome addition to our offensive line. Spooky, scary skeletons, Jimmy down your spine. First round exit stinks, but flying into year four always puts a smile on my face with 99 overall. Welcome to the club, Craig Younger. Looks like he's also unlocking his caps that were once locked. Makes me happy, makes me smile. And it just makes me smile seeing so many of our recruits five-star guys people we've landed just really ball out they're atop this roster now wang it's his ball club he's gonna run down some people's throats 96 speed that's a fast wang we'll see how quick he can work it even matt harris was dealing with some injuries last year and he's up and up winton still right behind playing some good insurance our six string dude in case five quarterbacks get hurt a star jojo burnett another star running back i forgot to tell you guys remember george bargain the quarterback from the beginning well he's been a fullback these last couple of years and he's an 83 overall i think that's iconic just like treg's ascent to stardom iconic my money's on these boys getting back to the big game transfer jimmy skeletons a plug and play for us i love it stars stars galore this has got to be the best linebacking core i've ever recruited even joe longa with the eye paint can play some ball i guess more balls than one seriously spoiled with elite talent man i can't believe this so many linebackers not enough space i'm gonna give this rebuild the honda salesmen they come through with the best linebackers i told you at the very beginning that our salesmen can drive a hard bargain and drive even harder on the gridiron and it stands true the linebacking core is hands down the best i've ever rebuilt and i believe defense is what's gonna carry us through this schedule this year and get us back to a championship and my predictions couldn't be any more right we beat florida beat penn state toyota chevy colorado state mercedes nissan bmw all these ranked teams just got ran through doing it with ease harris now hurt unfortunately having a great season but it looks like winton again spelling in through four tutties 288 yards weighing in the backfield all is good yancey putting up Heisman numbers, 17 touchdowns. Solid contributions across the line. Senior Maurice CRV, three ends, would love to get him a ring on that finger. Tesla has a 90 overall team, yet somehow they're four and four. They're also coming out wearing their alternate SpaceX unis, and I'll happily rub one in on Elon one more time before the dance. These guys are still dangerous, and I would never sleep on them, even with their four and four record, as you can see. Fourth and one, it kind of makes sense for them to go for it here. I mean, why wouldn't you? But Christmas and Younger blows it up. So to answer your question, that is exactly why you shouldn't do it. Now, Winton's gonna have to sling it and rub it all in your face. Let's go, Yancey. Not happy with Matthew getting hurt here later into the season, but okay, 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 Winton. Dangerous pass will not work every time, but it worked this time, and that's what matters. Hand off to Wang. When you got Wang, you gotta play with him all game long. So let's dump it to him on the slip. 
I thought he could burst around the corner. Wang is a little dysfunctional from time to time, so uh, he does botch it here and there. Winton. Ooh, top notch IQ right there. Back to the play action. Well, gonna go across to Yancey. He's got it. Yancey, Yancey, Bobancy. Let's feed this man Heisman like numbers. And I threw it into quadruple coverage because I wanted to feed a touchdown. I know I built a good team when they can keep bailing me out. Still got some opportunities here, even after playing like a bonehead. Over the middle. Triggs, stretch. A host of new names here on the offense, but by no means are they under the radar. Just a little desperate because our results keep coming up in vain. We march, we march, and march some more just for what? They're busting in on me quickly, but on the run, bro, again. Literally out here trying to play like Mahomes or something. That's gotten us bit more, <laughs> more times than not this game, and that's why it's close. Probably one of my sloppiest games to date, but hey, we're in this thing nonetheless. Little RPO pop to Tregs, that works. First and goal. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Same thing, Treggies. Touchdown, silencing Elon Musk and this crowd. Steady dosage of more Wang. That's exactly how we're gonna finish out the game. Oh no. Steady dosage of more Wang. That's how we win this game. So let's finish it up. Slip screen it to him here on fourth down. Cut it back inside and zipping through. Back over to Wang behind the back there. That's a good looking play. Not really thinking about time too much. Maybe I should a little bit more. I think we just go for another touchdown. Bail with some motion up the middle. RPO Treggs again open and he's going to score the second touchdown and the only two today. Tight end you, linebacker you. We let him squeak back in this thing. Five seconds to go. Onside kick recovered and we're chill. 10 and 0. What a remarkable season. 12 and 0 just like that taken on Ford in the championship game. Let's get another trophy because I got to rest up my sticks for the big dance after this. I'm letting the sim take over over and they got us out to a 17-0 lead yeah with the way we've been playing all year long shutting out ford 30 to zip in the championship game is an emphatic exclamation mark that we own this conference no one's better than honda no one outsells the competition like us the ceo's infusion of money and just love tender love care man that's what's doing it get you someone that's like that elon musk better get more involved in tesla's program if they're ever going to be successful and take us on again looks like we got matt harris healthy again in time for the playoffs and that's great because 2800 yards 33 touchdowns the to three ends he was on a roll tacked on five through the ground to compliment wang's great skills yancey seriously went Winning over so many customers with an absolute highlight reel of a season. So dependable, the customer's first choice. And for the customers that like the big boys, well, they got two reliable left and right ends right here that sack them up, smoosh them up. Mr. CRV leading the team again at interceptions. He's been a low 80 overall player throughout the rebuild, but he's done it year in, year out. Like, just check out his progression. Clearly his best year yet. No Heisman, but the next best thing, best receiver of the year award for Yancey. Best tight end goes to Stefan Treggs. And would you look at that number two seed Honda in that thing. Michigan got number one and they had a perfect season too. Georgia got through the first round and this is as tough a matchup you'll ever get. Never sleep on Georgia. Mono e mono, we got the leg up, but it's all about one game, one moment right here. Down six, zero. We need to turn it up. Come on, turn it up. Come on, turn it up. Time to get Yancey and Treggs more involved. They're the best receiver and best tight end of the nation for a reason. And he, Yancey's going to make his mark on this game. And let's give it to our trusty Wang in a time of need here. Break free. Two tackles. Three. It's the one yard line. I'm going to pound this thing up their throats. Come on, baby. Get in. No. Yo, we have to send in the house. Like, this is ridiculous. We're sending in as much as we can on the goal line right here. Someone stop him. Safety that. Looks like they might actually try to pass this thing, but I think we have a good chance. It's still bringing in the pressure, bringing in the house. They're chewing their clock, winding it down. One second. Gets the snap off. Get him, baby. Get him. No. At the inches line, I just called a timeout. I am determined to get ourselves a safety here. Someone get in there quickly. And he does. Yes. We were not dismayed from Wang's unfortunate circumstance in the last drive. He's going to go with revenge. Enough playing around. We're back into the air right across the middle, Tianzi. With 20 seconds to go, Treggs puts on a move. And he's got it. I'm opting to save that last timeout. Maybe we get a snap off here. Maybe two before we have to burn it. Let's just take off to the right and see if we can go 
put a move hoping that clock is stopped indeed it is so we can take a second here breathe go to the outside and hit him for a touchdown bail that's the lead what a turn of events in the last minute of the half rock him to sleep baby all that excitement before half and it's the fourth quarter we just need to end this game run through some people what a stiff wing let's keep trusting in it hoping to bounce off player to player cutting up field now gonna go back wide zone third and one first down seriously think we can catch him napping with a pass with so many runs right now but who needs to pass when wang is gonna win this game he's gone man 96 speed that's what it looks like crowd is throbbing with excitement just insane energy just a great day for all sides of the ball. They got down the field, took their three, and realized, hey, they need an onside kick still, and they're not gonna get it. Give me the Peach Bowl, and let's take a bite. Georgia had home field advantage, and it didn't matter, because this bowl game's in like Atlanta or something, right? A big day delivering Hondas to every Georgia player, and we claim that Atlanta region. Now we got LSU in the Sugar Bowl. I may be really wrong, but isn't the Sugar Bowl in New Orleans? So is this another Louisiana, another home state advantage thing? Our sales reps are going into hostile territory to really get this win aren't they the lighting looks crazy and it's actually kind of hurting my eyes and hard to play in but i did see him bounce off a sack i think i'm just gonna play this first drive because i don't know if i can do this very long looking at this screen is crazy right now there it is bingo yancey again dude was cold calling just a couple months ago and now he's out here playing some of the best football of his life He's doing it against some of the best teams too. I think Yancey found his true passion and will never go back to sales again after he's in the NFL. Always grateful for Honda though and what it provided him. Love and loyalty to the brand, to the company. He knows his roots and will always know his roots. That's why he's the greatest. The Sim had me cooking today, as you can see. 21 zip, really no doubts about it. Let's just go for another touchdown to guess who? Yancey. Oh, I've never felt better right now about a playoff run. But yeah, as I skip the remaining moments here and just let the Sim take care of it, there weren't any questions. 28-7, Sugar Bowl's ours. One game after another, it's already here. The national championship, the Honda boys and polos and khakis, they're putting together a dream team. This is the bracket and path for the Frogs. They upset number one, Michigan. Pretty cool, neat little twist, and that's gonna set us up for a big game. The trophy in all its glory and the frogs i recently went to their campus in fort worth interviewed students on how we can rebuild them and get them right that video is on my channel you should go check that out after this one but it's definitely good to see him in the natty taken on us honda khaki polos and all let's ride huge game right here in a landmark in college football nil corporate involvement college football is changing for good but tcu wants to hold on to the tried and true love of the game tradition winning all the above doing it the right way huh they've got first blood on us and they're playing an impressive brand of football i mean you got to be when you get past michigan for goodness sake still really waiting to see our guy here step it up a notch and he will this time tregs in stride let's see if we can finish it off to tregs nope we cannot that was definitely and i mean definitely the wrong direction but you know what's right all about that play missouri giving the frogs heck and misery i'll give the frogs some credit they're resilient. They got down the field and took three before half. That's cute and all, but it's going to be even cuter for us. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Tackle him, bro. Oh, my gosh. Tackle him, please. Jeez Louise. Is this game still mathematically comebackable? I hope it's two possession, not more. You know what I mean? Woo! He got that. I thought that was going out of bounds or surely not in the hands of Trags, but he's the best. Wow, I'm going to have to replay this back because that was expert toe drag craftsmanship. And I don't think we have a choice. We need to go for two. If we don't get it, it's two possession. That's definitely the downside the disadvantage but it had to be done i can see momentum is on our side fourth and 21 defense did their thing and now we can go two minute warning was called harris time just need to dial in and make the right reads missouri in and out great start everyone's hot right now this is exactly what we need to see i'll go across we got him it's bail what a time to bail us out hi yes i heard you were interested in the new 2025 honda crv well let me show you what it's all about bail touchdown 
closing out the deal. Insane. Tied game. And we're getting the punt again. So two straight stops from the defense. Three and outs for the Frogs. That's costly, man. They're 13-2. and two. We're 15-0. and 0. No sweeter feeling than completing the perfect season with the ring at the very end. Harris is going, man. What a run. He's willing his team forward. He wants this thing more than any. So proud of our guys. But the battle is not over yet. We have to get past midfield. We have to keep the thing going. Chains. Unbelievable right now. McIntyre with a burst. Before I settle for a field goal, I think we need to go back to the air. Take some more yards. He dropped it, but like I said, I think we need more yards to the air. I don't want this to be a sketchy field goal. And boom. There it is. Ask and receive. Bail did it. I'm just going to hurry up and run it again because we only got one timeout and I want to chew a little bit more clock. There's the slant. Bale is going to score. Touchdown. Let's go. Championship caliber team right here just came back from the depths of despair crazy work to finish out the national championship game one more hail mary from tcu i don't think there is one shot they catch this and get it into the end zone in fact it's gonna go into suarez arm here and he can celebrate baby let's go we just did this dang thing started from the sales room now we hear frog fans can't even begin to comprehend what just happened to him luis suarez says hold the l and out come the boys the honda red riders the honda supreme honda enthusiast honda salesman honda everything you get a honda you get a honda Mr. CRV gets his ring. Oh, man. What a ride it has been. The automobile car conference was fun. We were bottom three in most categories to now the CEO stepped in and said, hey, we got to turn the ship. Look what happened when he scrapped every other priority, every other project, every other investment except for this football team. It's amazing what can happen when you put your mind to it. Well, on that note, I hope you've enjoyed the gas station rebuild. I hope you enjoyed the car salesman rebuild. I hope you've enjoyed all the College Football 25 content up to this point because there's plenty more to soak up from Sponge and Honda. Keep soaking, subscribe. I'll see you in the next. Peace out.